13 stairs, a guarded door, the rarest of golf fraternities. Arnold Palmer becomes the first golfer ever to win the Masters Championship four times. For decades, Arnold Palmer climbed those stairs to a room reserved for champions. But the truth is, he was a first floor kind of guy. A man of the people who never cared for his nickname, the King, but loved the game, and especially the Masters. He loved everything about it, and he loved being Arnold. I don't think anybody ever liked being who they are more than he liked being Arnold. He gave love to people. As you give, so you will receive. He just had what you call it. You can't define it. It's a divine intervention of some kind. And Arnold Palmer, boy, he had it. Palmer first drove down Magnolia Lane in 1955, finished tied for 10th and earned $696. Arnold fell in love with Augusta from all I could tell right from the very first, from the very start. He had an instant attraction for Augusta. During the rest of his 87-year-old life, Palmer earned an estimated $875 million. But here on these grounds, he'll be remembered for his four green jackets, second only to Jack Nicklaus. And it was Palmer who became the first golf professional to be invited as an Augusta National member. The Masters made Arnold, and I think Arnold made the Masters. Arnold just loved this place, and everybody loved Arnold here. Palmer played his final competitive round at the Masters in 2004, and beginning in 2007 became an honorary starter. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Arnold Palmer. His final public appearance at the Masters came last April, and the frail Palmer willed himself to once again join his two longtime friends, Nicholas and Player, on the first tee. That was the thing that bothered me more than anything else was to see him, his health failing, because he had always been so robust and so Mr. America. But he showed up. He showed up and he sat in the chair and he only could get out there by people helping him and they mentioned his name. To our four-time Masters champion, Mr. Arnold Palmer. And he, he got up onto his feet. How he did it, I don't know. It was just that last bit of energy. And I got tearful and that's why I said to him, Arnie, I said, I'm gonna hit my tee shot in your honor. Oh, wow. I phoned him one month before, and I said to him, I just want you to know, Arnie, that um, I love you very much. I appreciate what you've done for the game, and above all, I appreciate your friendship. And all he said was, I love you. I appreciate your friendship. Thank you for calling. He is gone. But yet he is everywhere here, in mementos and in memories. It's going to be different, but everything's been different since September 25th. Arnold and I sit together at the Champions Dinner every year. Usually I have Arnold on one side and Tiger on the other side. That's what we've had for a long time, and I'll miss doing that. We miss a friend. The first tee will... Uh, will be a very sentimental uh, ceremony for the game of golf. It's going to be very sad to get on that first tee and know he's not there and we'll miss him. <laughs>